Hi beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel wherever you're joining me from in the world today. It is a pleasure to have you here and dropping straight in with these messages from my angels and auras deck this week and my angel answers as clarifiers, little bonus uh, angel number cards at the end for those of you that stick around. Now this one today uh, literally flew out of the deck. So there is something very significant here for one or some of you. The number 17 again showing itself. It was coming up in the cards last week in the messages. You could be seeing the number 17, 17, 17 could also be a clarifier and signifier, but it is number 17 career transition. Now it flew out of the deck. So for some of you, I feel as though there could be some career changes about to happen that are going to be sudden. And I feel, again, I'll, there's a group of you out there particularly. So a couple of messages. Number one, obviously, they're just saying sudden changes in your career or your working opportunities. This could be one minute you're not working, the next minute you land this amazing um, role or career path. Uh, for others of you, you will be transitioning. You may get a promotion. You may be, they're just saying headhunted from other organizations that have been watching your work or you've done something exceptionally well and you've, they're just saying, drawn the attention of others onto you. This could also be promotions within your existing workplaces and spaces. For my entrepreneurs as well, sudden shifts and changes in your business or the way you conduct your business, maybe you branch out into another area. And some of you may be transitioning from the corporate world Right, so this was a very strong message because this beautiful divine feminine, obviously, fellas, take it as it resonates. She is in a suit, right, with her little briefcase. She is walking out of a doorway that is quite dark behind her. So maybe some of you are leaving roles, leaving positions, leaving jobs, leaving workspaces and places that have been quite dark. The door is about to close on this. You're no longer vibing with it. Maybe it's been quite toxic in the past or you've just learnt everything that you needed to learn there and now they're just saying like you've hit a glass ceiling. There's really nothing else left there for you anymore and transitioning over. Now the wings, the angel wings, number one, this is divinely guided, this open door. God, your guides and angels are about to open this door. You're literally going to be walking out of one place and into another. This can also signify that some of you are leaving corporate roles and moving into more service-based, spiritual-based um, career paths. Some of you could be undertaking healing uh, courses or, you know, working with energy or that type of thing, you know, kinesiology and um, energy work and, you know, or massage or whatever it is for you. They are the most significant and strongest messages that are coming through from this card. Career transition. Something could be happening on the 17th of a month coming up in 17 days from now. The number 17 could be appearing on uh, the building that you're about to walk into, right? So again, or the address of something, of a place that you are to be going to at this time. There's a, quite a few different messages in this card. And your little bonus angel clarifier, and I'm getting like, like um, butterflies in my stomach right now, that nervous feeling. Some of you may also be going for job interviews. Some of you, as I said before, this nervous feeling, like that churning in the stomach, um, excited but nervous at the same time. You may be going into positions. Maybe you've just landed a new position and this is making you feel a little bit nervous. Maybe it's in a higher position or in or working in an area that, um, you know, you just feel a little bit out of place with at the start. Just These are normal nerves, beautiful souls, right? But this is a divinely guided door because you've got the angel wings here in the picture. Be assertive. So this is not a time to be meek and mild. This is a time to exert your divinity and your power in these situations. This could also be for those of you going for job interviews to be assertive, but not in, an, in a controlling way, right? Standing in your power. Here's this 
rainbow light energy over you again. We talked about rainbows last week and keys. Keys were coming up as part of your life mission and soul purpose. I believe it was Friday's message, right? Your past experiences, your past knowledge and wisdom is going to be used in this next season, right? So take these as they resonate. But number 17, beautiful souls, it's it's coming in quite strong over these last two weeks. New opportunities are about to present themselves. Stay ready. And yesterday's message was all about big news, emails, letters in the mail. Maybe some of you, they're just saying congratulations. Some of you may be getting a phone call and I'm lighting up in goosebumps to say, congratulations, you've got the job or congratulations, we're inviting you in for an interview or something of that nature. It is a great time for you to consider what's next in your career. And I'm telling you now, for many of you, this is divinely guided. Heaven is all over this door. Some of you, as I said before, may be stepping out of your old 3D type roles and what you've learned, you're now going to transition over into some kind of spiritually based or um, humanitarian type uh, business of some description, healing, working with others, support, guidance, whatever it is for you that is also strongly highlighted here at this time. Do you want to move up heavy on the promotions, heavy on the higher positions, heavy on the authority. Now, yesterday's, they're just bringing this back to me again. I'm lighting up in goosebumps. Yesterday's message was all about this couple sitting on this throne a year from now. The first time viewers, new subscribers, if you haven't seen that and this is resonating, go back and check out yesterday's message. Usually these cards sink into one big extension of the other right? If you put them all together. So some of you are going to be moving up or moving over to a different job entirely. 727 when I just looked down. Are you also considering retirement? So there's a small group of you out there. I feel only maybe 1% that potentially are on the verge of retiring right? So your freedom, your time is back, all of the things that you can now do, you, you can enjoy life and, and do all of those things. All of these topics can be represented by this card. Where is your heart leading you? This is all about being in alignment with your heart and soul. What makes you excited? And as I said before, I got those little butterflies in my stomach. When I was talking about interviews, some of you may be getting these um, positions offered to you. You may be getting these opportunities to come in for these uh, interviews as well. Line up your options and where your heart leaps with joy, go there. And for some of you, this is also about, they're just saying pay grade. Some of you will be up leveling. Others of you may be transitioning over to a more service-based, you know, age of Aquarius, um, helping humanity, some kind of service-based role where maybe at the start, you know, the money may not be what you were on or what you were thinking it was going to be, but it will, beautiful souls, it will evolve. And maybe that was why that year from now, again, evolving over this next 12 months, leveling up, they're just saying as well. These are all specific messages for one or some of you. When this card is inverted, so sometimes it may be that your day has become robotic and repetitive. Now, I feel this is more about the environments that you've been in, this blackness, this darkness. That if they're just saying the words stale and stagnant. Many of you have just outgrown these old roles or these old work environments, these old corporations that you've been working for. You're probably bored out of your mind and possibly even dread going to work. Hit me up in the comments, beautiful souls, whoever I'm speaking to right now. But here's the thing. You think you're trapped, but that is an illusion. 
Your angels would like you to pretend that you have a magic wand. What would you do if you believed fully that you could do anything? What is your heart and soul calling you to do? Some of you are in these positions where you feel stuck and stagnant and you hate going to work and maybe it's causing a bit of darkness and toxicity over your life and your vibration and frequency. Because the things that light you up, maybe you're looking at them going, but how can I ever make money out of that? How is that ever going to be profitable for me? How am I going to be in service to others if, if you know, who's going to pay me to do something like that? Or who's going to want my services? Some of you may have been questioning, you know, moving into these other roles, these passions, these side hustles, these hobbies or gifts and talents that you that you just possess or love but you're wondering how it's going to work out. What would a passionate and fulfilling career look like to you? They're just saying journal. Some of you need to write this down. What is it that you want to be doing? Write it out in the present tense. Write it out how a day would look, the perfect day for you in your corporate positions at that company that you've always wanted to work for or in that position or that entrepreneurship role whatever that is for you be writing it down in the present tense bringing it into your vortex could you make a few changes that would allow you to do what you love part-time in preparation for eventually doing it full-time I have talked about hobbies and side hustles pretty much on and off all of this year. And again, yesterday's message talking about a year from now or within the next 12 months, many of you are going to be making this transition. Your little businesses and side hustles, your courses, your songs, your books, whatever it is that you've been working on, your products, etc., will start to take root and start to gain traction where you can leave your current jobs and roles and move into these uh, positions full time. Release your self-limiting beliefs and see yourself joyful in the future. There's a rainbow over you, beautiful souls. Be assertive and keep moving forward. Color activations are orange and green. A lot of orange coming up. The color orange is balancing your energy during a moment of potential change. Changes, changes, changes have been through all of my messages over these past few months, especially big, big changes coming in for many of you. Green energy is allowing you to be open to all opportunities that present themselves. I say it so much, stay open, keep your energy open around you, beautiful souls. Say yes, bring in, yes, more of that, please. Yes, bring me the open doors. Yes, I will step through at the divinely set time. Being assertive when you go to these interviews or they're just saying pitching, when you're pitching yourself, possibly, or your ideas or your products to other corporations or, you know, people who are wanting to possibly invest in what you have or what you do or what you're creating. That is another specific message. But again, beautiful souls, being assertive at this time, this is not a time to shrink back. This situation calls for you to take matters into your own hands. You must get clear on your personal feelings and then pursue the fulfillment of your desires, oh my goodness, with courage and self-confidence. Ask for what you need. And they're just saying, ask for what you want. Some of you, this can also be about your contracts. Paperwork was coming up, uh, as in my, uh, emails and letters in the mail to beautiful souls. So some of you may be transitioning up or getting promoted or whatever it is, and there may be some kind of terms and conditions they're just saying to me with your work contracts as well that you're going to come back to and say, no, I actually want this or I, I'm happy with that, but over here I want this to be changed to whatever it is that you want or need. Being assertive at this time, asking for what you want. 
without watering down your request to satisfy others. That is a word for someone. Remember that seeing to your own needs is nothing to apologize for. Set boundaries with those around you in order to create a safe and fair environment. Some of you may walk into these positions or transition over and you're not happy with what you see. And you're like, I need to make some changes here, particularly if you're going into positions of authority. Tailor your actions so that you earn the respect of others and then move forward. Well, there is definitely movement happening, beautiful souls, heavy on the career, heavy on the life path, heavy on the transitioning from one job to maybe something completely, completely different. Hit me up in the comments if any of this is resonating with you. And I'm just going to grab your last little bonus uh, angel number clarifier. Oh, my goodness, 333 potential. Cannot make it up. Now, the threes were coming up again last week in a lot of those messages. Your angel whisper message says your chance to reach the your highest of potentials is here cannot make this up. Perseverance has gotten you to where you are today. You have been through so much and this guidance is here to show you that you are exactly where you need to be. Affirmation. Oh my goodness. My potential is infinite. I use my strength as my ally to pursue my highest good. Now I just said before that for many of you, you're going to be moving into these roles. These are going to be things that you love that are divinely aligned. This is a this is a God door, right? That's the words they just gave me. This is a, a God's door. God is opening this for you. Your angels and guides are overseeing it. The transition will be smooth, being assertive, beautiful souls, right? Shifts and changes, whatever needs to be made. Maybe this is about uh, negotiations around your pay structures. Take these as they resonate. But again, beautiful souls, triple three will be another confirmation, 1717, 17, as I said before, or the number 17 for some of you as well. But hit me up in the comments, beautiful souls. First time viewers, if you feel divinely led and that resonates, hit the little uh, thumbs up button below, hit that little notifications bell, subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you in here. And of course, I'm sending you all the most beautiful, abundant, happy and very successful day. Claim it, believe it, receive it. And I will see you in here for the next one. Bye for now.